You know, I've been I've been fighting this for a number of five years now, and I I've kind of given up saying that couldn't be true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just want to get your thought on something you must have seen, um, and it's been quite big on Twitter, big being the operative word, and that's the images coming out of Canada of this school teacher who's a bloke in a very short dress, and I'm not sure how to describe what are sort of ginormous prosthetic breasts with erect nipples on the end, very tight top. It's clear to any sane individual this is kind of like fetish gear. Yeah. Now... There's been a bit of a split thought on this, and I suppose whichever side of it's the truth, the people on the side of reality win. Uh, now, it could be that this person is genu genuinely playing out a fetish in school, and the school is going along with it out of some sort of misguided commitment to inclusion, or it could be somebody taking the piss to expose these stupid rules. What, what, what's your instinct here? Uh, it's such an extraordinary... I mean, you know, I've been, I've been fighting this for a number of... Five years now. And I, I've kind of given up saying that couldn't be true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, yeah. Because, because, like, every time you see something insane, like, for instance, one of the earliest things that happened in this was so-called Jessica Yaniv uh, asking uh, uh, immigrant uh, uh, beauticians to wax his male genitalia, even though they stressed that they were women only, then trying to sue them and destroy their their businesses. That bloke is still on Twitter, I believe, and Megan Murphy is not. Megan Murphy is the feminist who, who said that's him about him, and Twitter used that ex excuse to him. Oh, no, she said uh, men aren't women. I think that's what got That was mine, wasn't... too. That was mine. Yeah, right, I said men are you. women, though, but like, I think what they really got me for was saying, okay, groomer to everybody, because <laughs> I, I, I used it as shorthand, because basically, when, when all these people are coming at you with the exact same arguments, and you've already you've already level them and you you know what they are like basically trans rights activists have a number of phrases they love saying over and over again trans rights are human rights which is completely meaningless uh, yeah. uh, you know um, what are the other ones um, trans women are women trans women are women genitals you're obsessed with genitals all this sort of stuff the, you know these are the kind of things they use to shut down debate and keep people uh, keep people in line you know um, uh, so I just got a bit sick of endlessly hearing these same arguments so I would just reply okay groomer you know and in fact I think I was the one who invented it I was the, I was the one who pop I think I popularized okay groomer you know um, right, I shall have your Wikipedia profile updated <laughs> after this conversation under the achievement section yeah yeah and I'm happy about it because it's like it, it's, a, it's such an important um, thing to get across to people this is a grooming operation a whole you know uh, I knew a, a social worker who said it only takes a few people to groom an or organization and it only takes a few groomed organizations to groom a society and that's what stonewall have been doing over the last 10 years and that's what mermaids have done and that's what you know has happened to liberty and all these other groups i thought were great amnesty and fucking hacked off god forgive me forever ever thinking they were anything other than a bunch of chancers you know <laughs> um all of these people are you know are, are just 100% on board with the with this ideology, he, despite the fact there is no evidence that backs them up. There's no evidence that there's such a thing as trans children. There's no evidence of a gender identity that we all have. Um, in fact, a lot of the evidence is pointing towards transitioning, uh, leaving people more unhappy, you know, with greater instances of su suicidal ideation and so on. So, you know, it's deliberate ignorance and it's, it infuriates me, you know.